process your film. All the chemicals for processing your film are over here to my left. Inside these cabinets, you'll find things helpful for printing your photos. Here are pieces of glass that help for 8x10s and contact sheets. Here are stencils to ensure even borders on your pictures. And here is a grain scope to help you make sure your photo is clear. Oh. Um, this is your enlarger. <clears throat> After you've processed and dried your film, you put your negative inside the negative sleeve, <clears throat> put it in the enlarger, and close it. The amount of time is determined right here for how long or short you want your light to be on your picture. This determines how bright or dark you want your light to be. This is the security light to make sure that you're not exposing your photo before you need to. Right here, adjusts how big or small you want your actual picture. And this nozzle right here is the focus. Bye. Hello. Um, this is the station you're going to be coming to next after you enlarge your picture. Um, first is going to be developer, stop bath, and fixer, and the last step to developing your picture is going to be water. After you take your picture out of the water, you're going to come over to the squeegee board. You're going to stick your picture on the squeegee board, and you're just going to squeegee off all the chemicals in the water. And after you're done squeegeeing off the water and chemicals, you're going to put it down here on the drying rack. Mm. I hate Phoebe Gingo. Smells like magic.